Hey guys, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I have lots of good stuff as usual and it's quite an assortment. But I was just thinking, how long has it been since we used Buxom Celeste? I have a new, uh, not even a new, but it's new to me but we have been here before. One of you brought this back to my attention and I kept looking at Ulta to see if it was back in stock because they have been out of it forever. Finally, last weekend, I went to my other Ulta Beauty, 40 minutes away, and they had it. And it's the Clinique Pop Beige Pop. And it's so confusing because there's a bare pop there's a nude pop, but the one I think we love the most is Beige Pop, and it is a good, good lipstick. See how it is a light baby pink, the blue pink, but it's not obnoxious. It's not like Snob or the YSL. I think that one is Rose Celebration or something like that. There's a lot of them that I really like, but they are difficult to wear because you don't want to look like that lady off of... What is that movie? I keep wanting to say Magda. If I can find her, I'll put it down here. So today I wanted to show you how to really make it wearable. I mean, I would wear it with Lancome Ideal. Lancome Bronzel is another really good one that goes with the light baby pinks. But another lip liner that I really like and I think a lot of you would like is the Dior Jungle. This is a nude lip liner, but it really has a different tone to it. I can't decide if it's a little bit terracotta, a little bit pink. It goes a lot of different ways. It looks excellent with lip oils because it's a pretty color on its own. So today I have on the Dior Jungle and the Beige Pop and then I was thinking I needed a little bit of something something and I would try a little bit of Buxom Celeste. Just put a little bit on the bottom. You got to put it on kind of strategically and this one's almost out and then get some on your wand and Put it right up here and then it'll just give you that good glossy look but not that goopy yucky glossy look even when i'm shopping and i look at a gloss sometimes and their lips are just like goopy and crazy looking i'm thinking oh i couldn't stand that i'm usually someone who puts gloss on and then i blot one time so i made sure i did not put a lot on that is a good combo and both of the lipstick and the liner are really good even on their own okay Okay, this is something I bought from the actual Natasha Denona website. It's the Lila palette. You know, I love the purples and there's a girl that works at Ulta that loves purples too. And she had it on, so I grabbed it. Look at this palette. So I have used it one time and it is beautiful. I just love like those colors. Like even if you didn't use the purples, the browns are that kind of brown, but this is beautiful. I've only used it one time, so let me know if you would be interested in seeing some of that. It was not inexpensive, but those shadows are really good. Matter of fact, the Pat McGrath palette. I don't know if you saw my last get ready in less than 12 minutes. I'll post it up here, but I used that Pat McGrath palette. It is so good. It is like a go-to palette. Like for some of you, it would be the only palette that you need. And the blendability and the quality is amazing. So make sure you catch that video. Okay, oh my gosh, I have got some hair products. Some of you are going to love these so much. Matter of fact, I told my daughter Brooke who has naturally curly hair, much curlier than mine, and she's always wanting something to smooth it out and to fight the frizz. I said, girl, you can have this. This is the Wow Dream Coat Extra Strength. And I'm so glad I just bought the little one because let me tell you, this sucker made my hair so flat. Now, for those of you that have wild, coarse, crazy hair, I think you are gonna love it. I do have fine, coarse, crazy hair, but I like it a little crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I like it to be kind of section-y, like if it's boofing up in the back, I like that. So every time I 
do something like this, you know, I get what I wished for. I don't like it. Same thing with a keratin treatment. I did not want my hair that flat. And I guess, you know, like all things in life, sometimes you have to find out the hard way. But this is tough stuff. And I mean, it has lasted, I would say three washes because I do wash my hair every night because I walk and I get very sweaty. It really did last. Last night, I had to bring out my Amica blowout spray so that I could get some craziness. If you want your hair to be anti-frizz, straight, smooth, glass hair, this is your product right here. Then I tried this. I kind of just went on Sephora and looked at all of the new stuff in makeup and hair. So Kerastase, I don't use that much Kerastase anymore, but I've, I always love Kerastase. I got the Nutritive Lotion Thermique Plant-Based Proteins and Niacinamide Beautifying Detangling Blow-Dry Mist for dry hair fine to medium. Okay, if any of you have tried this, let us know down below. I tried it, I think, the second night after I used this, and it was still flat as a fritter. <laughs> it was so smooth, easy to blow out. I'm serious, like I'd had a treatment. I don't even know if I can even say anything about this yet. I can just say that I typically love Kerastase products. Okay, I got these little lashes in my Natasha Denona box. I don't remember ordering these, but dag on, they look like good lashes. They are like right up my alley. That is about the length of my lashes. And so I want to use these in a makeup look or in a video coming up. Okay, I ordered another Lolita. Here's the thing, I did this twice because the first time I thought, oh, I ordered the Lolita. Well, this time I know I ordered the new name, whatever it is, and they still sent me a Lolita. So evidently with this lip liner, what they're doing is getting rid of the old stock, but they went ahead and changed the name. So that pretty much tells you that it's gonna be the same, but Lolita, another really good lip liner. This one is more for your pinks. It's not as much for nudes. It's definitely, I would say, for pinks and peaches. Okay, this is something I ordered. I'm gonna do a video coming up, and it's going to be about Jenna Lyons and the fact that she is on The Real Housewives of New York. You guys know I don't watch Housewives. I haven't watched Housewives since I moved in this house, I believe. But they have all new Housewives on New York. And Jenna Lyons, who was the creative director of J. Crew for 25 years, is on there. And she is an interesting person. I think they've had three episodes four at the most, and I will say it is just as ridiculous as it's ever been. There's actually an influencer, Sai is on there. I have followed her in the past, I don't know if I still do. So it's interesting to a point, but really the most interesting person to me is Jenna Lyons, just because of her history, what she did for J. Crew. I love her apartment, I love the decor. So I've kind of gotten into some of the things that she has recommended, and this was on a video. You know, on YouTube, once you watch one video, they keep serving you more videos on the same subject. So I believe this was in like a Vogue or British Vogue or some video of her favorite products. And it is the, gosh, Glossier Body Hero Daily Oil Wash. And when she described it, it sounded like something I would love. And it is. You guys, this stuff is so good. I've already ordered another bottle because I want to use it freely. This is part of life that I think you should spoil yourself. When you find a product like this that you love in the shower, make sure you just use it because I'm bad about trying to use up everything else and you know, just, I don't know, you get hangups. But I used this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is the most unique product I think I've ever used. First of all, it's an oil. Let me read it to you. Daily oil wash. Massage all over body on wet skin. The oil will transform into a soft froth as it cleanses. Rinse thoroughly. I will say it's not this big, frothy, you know, soap, suds all over. But the reason I like it is I can shave my legs with it. I still use and love the Billy Razor from Walmart. Best razor I think I've ever used. Ever. So I use this to shave bikini line under my arms 
and my legs. And when I get out of the shower, dare I say, I don't even have to moisturize if I don't want to because your skin feels, it's the weirdest thing. It's moisturized, but not like the typical body oil moisturizing. Like you don't feel like you're gonna slip in the shower. You don't feel oily. You just feel really, really soft. Like your skin is just really, really, really soft. Like it reminds me of my grandmother's skin was, you know, we used to love feeling like on our arms and stuff because it was so soft, that's how it feels. It's really a unique product. Now, the smell is amazing. I think it's Neroli. I looked it up because I swear it smells like the Janie Maddie beach scent. The shower gel that I have, it smells a little beachy and I think it's the Neroli. Gosh, it's like that sexy beachy spa smell. You can shave your legs with it. It feels amazing. It is just probably, it's, yeah, body hero. This is my hero product of the week. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's go ahead and do this. Since I'm talking about her, let's do my Jenna Lyons inspired purchases. Okay, I did not know, but she has a line of lashes. And the name of these are Love Scene. And that is Jenna Lyons right there. So I went on her website and I ordered these. The reason she made these lashes is she said she never could find natural lashes that looked good on her, that didn't look like false lashes, that she has really sparse lashes. So that is the reason she started this. The ones I ordered are Jack. So as you can see, they're a lot more natural than I typically wear, but I wanted to try them just to see what they were like, just for something fun for us to try. And then she also had these candles on her website, which are from a company called Brooklyn Candle Studio. And now that I'm like fixing up my house, House and I've got a lot of new home decor and I am going to show you every bit of it, I promise. But I've got like so much good stuff coming. I want to do kind of like a grand reveal. But I ordered these to put around the home. I really, really, really love small candles. I think that there is something to it. For some reason, a small candle to me almost puts out more fragrance and I like the way they look and I like to switch it up. So I ordered these and I have not, you know, used them yet. Okay guys, I just stopped for a little bit, but the landscapers are here and they're cutting the grass. So we're gonna have to just go on with it because every day <laughs> that happens. But like I was saying in the other video, I think it's just part of the sounds of summer to me. Okay, so I think that is it with the Jenna Lyons inspired things for today. And I will say I did get her pillowcases and that is a, if you know, you know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use them, but they just caught my attention and I did get them. So you'll have to watch to find out what that is. And then, okay, let's go on to, let's get this stuff right out of my way here. I ordered another set of my all time, all time favorite steak knives. You guys, if you don't have these knives, you are missing out. You could ask me if I want the most expensive knife block there is and I would still take these. You know, I cut a lot of steak and chicken and everything else. I like thin steaks. If we have to get a thick one, if John has to cut it in half, we also use it for that. They are super sharp and they're serrated. So they don't, it's not like just tearing your steak up. It just like cuts right through it. They are the best and I get them from Amazon. Okay, another Amazon purchase. One of you told me about this and I cannot remember your name, but whoever you are out there, thank you so much. I love this toothpaste. I also get it from my mom. It's the Boca Ella Mint toothpaste. It gently remineralizes your enamel and helps with anti-sensitivity. <laughs> Why was that hard to say? I don't know. But it's a lot like if you liked the Sensodyne Pro Enamel that I've always liked. That's another one. I think this one's probably just a little bit more natural and it's the consistency is so creamy and the taste is so good. I think you would love it. My mom and I both love it. Okay, and then this is a favorite of last week. This is the eye cream that I showed you last week from Freeze Co Beauty. And this is the one that she suggested that I use at night. So you can see it's a thicker formula. You guys, this eye cream feels like butter. It is so emollient, so nice. 
If you like these SkinCeuticals one that people recommend so much, I just got through using a whole jar of it. It feels like that, but better. Even smoother and just beautiful. It's like one of those skincare items you look forward to putting on because it actually feels good. You know, I use it at night and I put it on and then I run it through my brows because I know that it will, you know, crawl down but I have thoroughly enjoyed that. So I've kind of been trying some different eye creams and that is one that I love. Okay, a favorite from last week is this palette. I kind of feel like it got cheated a little bit because I had that audio difficulty, which was my own fault. But this palette, you guys, it is so good. I have it on today, but I did browns today, just browns. And you know, I think I did use, right at the end, I did use that color, which is kind of a purpley brown on the outer edge. This is such a good palette. It is, it's beautiful. And it has those good purples in it. I would recommend this one before I would the other Natasha Denona Lila palette, just because I've used this one now, I think three or four times and I know how good it is and it's less expensive, but I will still keep trying that one and let you know. Another favorite is this Bare Minerals Highlighting Blush from last week. I have it on today, just on the tops of my cheeks. This comes in many different colors. I saw it in Ulta the other day and there are so many pretty colors. A lot of them were sold out, but I'm sure we can probably order them online. So pretty, so smooth, love it, a very good, mature skin friendly highlighting blush. Okay, I had two big orders. No, I had one big order to Sephora and then I bought a lot of stuff at Ulta. So one of the things I ordered from Sephora is this brush. I have not even opened it yet. I don't know, I saw a makeup artist using this and really bragging on this brush. And so it looked like a good one. It's the number 19. I will say it looks like a good one. It's got good body. I don't like them when they like fall apart and it has a good, good tip on it. So this looks like a good one and done because it also looks like a good one that you can do across the lid. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. Okay, they're still here, but they're not on the porch. I did order this new Clinique mascara and I've been using it. I think today was my third day and it is a good one. I think the last time they released a high impact mascara, it was really good. They do have a good lower lash mascara too, but this is the Clinique High Impact High Fi Full Volume Mascara and I love it. I mean, I have found, I would say, a handful of really good mascaras. If you're like me and you like thick, full, voluminous lashes that are a little bit clumpy and a little bit crazy, <laughs> then you will love this. You don't even have to get crazy with this one. This one really does kind of spread them out very well. And then I go through and crisscross them a little bit because they're just more impactful that way. And I already know I'm gonna use, you know, false lashes. Then when I was in Ulta, one of my favorite makeup artists was there. She does a lot of weddings. And I asked her what her favorite full coverage, long wearing foundation was for weddings. And she suggested this, which is the Born This Way Matte Foundation. And the color she matched me in is sand. I feel like I have tried this before but I got rid of most of my old foundations, so I thought I would try it again. I'm always wanting to try new foundations, and for some reason, foundations are really fun to me. It's a, such a challenge. And then remember when I told you I had tried the L20 O Smashbox foundation and it was just too yellow. It's the new formula. Very, very, very olive toned. Well, I waited for them to get stock back in and I picked up the L10N, which, looks like it's gonna to be too light, but if I went to the N20, it was just too pink. It wasn't very neutral. And this looks pink too. So I thought what I would do is just try to mix these and see what happened, see if any magic happens, if there's, you know, sparkles everywhere. And if not, we'll just know. This one's not meant for me. There's a lot of foundations that people love and I can just never find my right skin shade. So that may be how this is, but I think I saw Tati bragging on this too. This is something inspired by, oh my gosh, let me take a break, hold on. Okay, I think we're at another point. Don't think for one minute that I'm not grateful that they're out there. This family, they pull up and it's the son, the dad, the mom, and then sometimes I think it's the sister. 
they get out of the truck and I mean they are just everywhere and they get it done so quick and we have been using them since years in our old house so I'm very grateful I just don't want it to annoy you guys okay so let's get back into okay I was going to show you this this is the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer and I actually had one of you ask me about this on Instagram you sent me a DM and I looked at it and I just thought eh, you know I don't know about this but I was watching Bailey Sarian one of her videos and I know everyone loves that murder mystery makeup. I miss just her makeup because a lot of times I just don't want to hear those stories. I don't like stuff like that in my head, but I do really like her. And when I was watching her, she uses this as a foundation. And I have done that before with the Too Faced. So I just grabbed this when I was there and you guys, it is gorgeous. If you are a shade sister and you wear a lot of the shades I do, get this one. It is the 50NN. It's beautiful. It's very thin. It's not as dry down powdery as like Tarte Shape Tape. It's very similar to the Too Faced. It's beautiful. When I wore it that day, I couldn't believe it. Matter of fact, at the end of the day, I thought, what am I wearing today? Because I liked it and I, I just remembered it was this and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that actually worked. Of course, you still use your concealer and everything else, which adds that dimension and everything else. And I'm still loving the Natasha Denona 6N concealer that I used in my video, my one I just posted, my makeup video. That is some good concealer. Every time I try to stray, I go back to it. It's just a go-to. Okay, now let's go on to some more fragrances and some more candles. If you've been here with me, you know how much I love these candles. The boy smells, now you have to like herby, vibey, boyfriendy, type smells. This isn't your fresh or pretty or anything like that. This is very, very sexy smelling fragrances, all of them. And every time I have gotten these, I have used every single candle in the box, along with the Le Labo. I love those. Okay, so it's along the same lines as Le Labo. If you like those, much better than the, I don't like the ones that start with a V. I can't remember. Those I don't like very much. So I ordered these from the Boy Smells website and let's see what's in here i placed a, a big order i can already smell it oh my gosh you guys it gives me butterflies it is so sexy but it is the cowboy kush okay i gotta say something the first time i bought one of these candles and it was kush i didn't even know what that meant so it has no there's no reason that i'm you know going for that word. I didn't even know. I'm, I'm not into Kush, but I do love these fragrances. Oh my gosh. Okay, and they bounce. <laughs> I love the way they look. They match the whole thing going on with my house. So this is Cashmere Kush. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the box. This is just regular Kush. Okay, one of my favorites is Italian Kush, which has a little bit more of a is it basil? Is there basil in this? Limoncello, pomelo, black pepper, basil. Okay, so it has like a basil smell. And then cowboy kush, let me see if I can guess. This one has something, okay. Suede, saffron, labdomum, cannabis, tonka. Tonka, I think is what I was gonna say. Patchouli, suede. Okay, so you get the idea on these. And what I do is I just put them up in my closet and just get one out at a time. A lot of times if I'm sending a gift package to someone, I might put one in there and everyone loves them. So these I wholeheartedly recommend. You can get them on their website. Revolve has them. Revolve has a banana pudding one that I want to order. It's pre-order. I need to go ahead and do it. And then you can also get them on Nordstrom. Then I don't know if you guys remember when I bought the little sample boy smells fragrances last year it might have been at the nordstrom sale or something well i have loved these i've actually used up one and quite a few of a couple other ones and i like to take these with me when i go out of town and this might even be my second one i'm not sure but i love these they're kind of like a go-to so they had a sample pack on the website that i grabbed john opened this for me and this is what happened I thought he was more patient than I was, so that's why I handed it to him. And he asked me, can I rip it? And I said, yeah. 
and I didn't know he was gonna like rip it to pieces, but this one actually has different ones. This one has marble fruit, which so does that one. This one has rose load. This, that one doesn't have the rose. Violet ends, that one doesn't have that. Floor does something, that one has that one. Suede pony, so that's a different one. Tantrum, which is bergamot. I don't think that one has it. And then Pinocchi phantom with cypress and Oh my gosh, I can't even read the rest of that stuff. Patchouli and some other stuff. That's been my favorite. I really like that one a lot. I like the fruit, the wood for you too. So these are just good. I think that you would love them, but I did not stop there because a friend of mine bought this. It's the Boy Smells in the Italian Kush. So either the candles or the fragrances would be a good way for you to try and see which one is your favorite, or you may be like me, where you really like all of them. This is the room spray. Look at how fabulous this is. I mean, just sitting on your coffee table, in your bedroom, in a study, anywhere, and it's the room spray. So if you want to, real quick, before people come over, oh my gosh. I love it. You guys know how much I love to like even spray perfume like and then walk through it. That's what it reminds me of. It is fabulous. It really is. This, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. If you don't even have anyone coming over, spray this in your room before you go to bed or when you get home. It is just major sexy. I mean, there is just everything about this is just fabulous. Okay, you guys, I thought my battery was worn out, but here, we're back. Okay, I was just showing you this hat that I just got from Amazon. It's like the tan one that I have. And I like how you can throw these hats on with anything and they make it look a little bit more stylish. It's great for second day hair. So this is something I could put on. And I wanted to show you this outfit because I wanted to show you how you can just put it on with anything and it looks really cute. Okay, so today I have on, here, let me take my hat off. Oh, let me, okay, I want you to see it with the hat. Okay, but let's do the outfit legit here. Remember I was saying in my video, my fall pieces that you already have in your closet, vest, suiting, all of these things are really in right now. I have always loved them. I've worn vests forever. This is actually a men's vest from H&M and I will link it below and I will put what size I'm wearing. It's either the 36 or the 38. I remember it was a 30 something. And then these pants are magnificent. They're high rise, so they're just perfection if you have something that's a little cropped. They are from Walmart. I was watching Madison Payne, her video, and I ordered them immediately. They are the best. You need them. Just order them, you need them. I think they're Avia. They're kind of like parachute pants. They have the little drawstring down there that is on the outside. Never get the one that's on the inside because you will break your neck. My heel gets caught in the ones that are on the inside. I had a pair of Zara ones that were like that. Yesterday, I wore these with my strapless top from Cause, and I loved it. I couldn't help it. I wanted to wear them today because I wanted to show them to you. And I wanted to try a different pair of shoes on. So I put on these, which are the Bottega Inspired that are so daggone comfortable. Another must have. And you get this really cool outfit. Let me look in the mirror. Ah, oh, I just love it for not a lot of money. Just, it looks good as anything designer you could put together. I love it. So I will link Madison's channel down below and this is the outfit. So what I was gonna show you is how you can put this hat on with just anything and it looks cute, especially in the winter time. I don't, in the summer too, but in the winter when you have like on a faux fur or a wool jacket or a trench coat, we're gonna talk about all those things, then I really love that. Okay, now let's get to some fun stuff here. I ordered some more coffee table books. You can never have enough. Books look good everywhere. They are just like art. They give texture. There is nothing better than a book. And I have always loved children's books too. So I've always, that was a major gift I would give was children's books. And I have bought children's books even for myself just because I thought they were so pretty. So I've been ordering some more 
and this is one of them I got this week and this is one of my pieces of art is a photograph by Gray Mallon and oh just so many pretty things and some kind of quirky and some very beautiful and resort like but I saw this one and I had to show you this is one of them and my mom likes giraffes so mama that picture's for you I thought about you is it not precious so it's real you know photography but he's very very good i want to keep that space here i'm gonna put this scrunchie in there i wanted to tell you guys that was like a bookmark and a reminder i purchased two silky they're not silk but silky pillowcases in this print and one of them came with the mask and the scrunchie and I didn't end up liking the way they looked on my bed. It was just kind of like a little trial thing, but they are so nice. They have the zippered end. They go right over my sleeping glow, and I'm probably gonna give them to my mom and dad and let her use them because I don't want them to go to waste. They're so nice, but if you like this print, which I think is so pretty, this nude leopard, I really did like those a lot. Okay, another coffee table book that I ordered is this one. And I was so excited when I got it in. It is the Vogue Living Country City Coast because I'm trying to get some coastal things in my home that aren't kitschy coastal because I've lived here my whole life so I don't wanna see like condo coastal. And look how this has the surfboard. And John is a surfer, was a surfer. I guess once a surfer, always a surfer. So I'm gonna use this for his nightstand or maybe on his chest of drawers, I haven't decided, but I just thought that was so cool. I mean, these books are just gorgeous. And then I found this one on eBay and it is the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit 50 Years edition and i just thought that was so cool see this is the kind of coastal stuff that i want i want beachy resort palm trees i love like our pool is right on the ocean i love that whole vibe and so that's what i'm going for so don't forget to look on like etsy and ebay and all of those places okay and then a couple more things i ordered two more lipsticks from Sephora. This one was suggested to me by Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, and SJ, Sarah Jane on Chic on the Cheap. I think Marnie talked about it first, and then Sarah Jane got it, and I'm on a Vox with them, and I was like, okay, what is it? I've got to have it, and it's the Lawless Daisy Girl. It's a really pretty pink, and I know Sarah Jane likes the light nudie colors like I do, and she said this one has a little bit more color, so I was like, hmm. And see, it also, kind of like the Clinique, is that pastel baby pink, but not crazy Magda looking pink. It's still wearable. This one is more of a matte formula, whereas the Clinique Bear Pop, can't remember now, the Clinique one I just showed you is a little bit glossier. So it depends on what you like, but both of them love this lipstick. So I thought I wanted to try it. And I usually do like lawless lip colors. And then I saw this on the new section. And you know how sometimes when you're on Sephora or Ulta, they'll say something's new and you're thinking that's not new. And that's kind of how I thought about this, but it really is. It's one of these lip power lipsticks from Armani. I love these. I have every color that I even can imagine wearing. This is the number 102. It's one of my favorites. It's another light, light nude, but this one's kind of glossy, but it's long wearing. So when I saw this, I thought this isn't new, but it is. It's matte. You can even see the difference in the tubes. So the one I got is Romantic number 114 Lip Power Matte. And look at how beautiful that color is. So it's very close to the Daisy Girl, but I would say this one is a little warmer and has a little bit more of that peachy tone to it. This one might be a little bit more wearable, just depending on what lip liner you put with it. But, ooh, that one layered with that one over it, I think that is what I'm going to try. And these last on the lips for a long, long time. Okay, you guys, and for accessories today, I have on my Dean Davidson large knockout studs in the Onyx. I love these. I have on this ring that I have loved from Victoria Emerson. It's the ones that Mommy's Makeup and Moscato 
did. I love this. I think it looks so expensive and it's not. My bull of a watch that I love. And you guys, don't forget about this bag. It is so good from Zara. I showed it last Friday. So many of you love it. I looked this morning, it's still available. It's just so good. It comes in another color too, like a darker color. I can't remember if it's, I don't think it's black. I think it might be dark brown, but just amazing. And you know, last week I showed this to you the first time with no volume. I did that video accidentally. Then the second time I did that video, I had a meeting I had to get to and I was in a hurry and I forgot to show you that I bought my mom another one of those Bottega inspired bags from Anthropology. She loved the white pearly one so much that we bought the tan one and it is such a good color. So I'm gonna order the smaller one, maybe in black, but if you are in the market for a purse, that is a nice, nice purse. Good looking for the money. So I think that's it. I appreciate you being here so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.